Welcome back to another video. Today we're working on the Audi A5 again. Yesterday, last night, I detailed the whole car and I waxed it with Fuso Wax. So I went up to the lads in MCG just to see what they have. I've after ordering a Maxton lip, which just kind of goes underneath the bottom, and I've ordered the gloss side skirts off them as well. And um, their special order for this car because it's not the S line; it's only the Sport, so it's kind of like the SC bumper, as far as I know. But they did have this in stock. It's the RS5 front grille, so like the honeycomb grille. It has the blacked out uh, rings. I think I can sort them over. So I'll obviously leave it like this, put it on, and um, see what it looks like, and then uh, I'll think about swapping it over. And I like that it has this place a number plate as well. Some of them are honeycomb the whole way down, and you just have kind of cable tie it on. But I like that this has that. Also, I've picked up some diamond stitch mats. These are custom fit for the Audi A5, so they should look really good inside the car. The guy I picked these up from bought them for his A5. They took like five, six weeks to come, and in the meantime, he actually sold his A5. He paid it just over 200, so I only got, I paid 70 euro for them, I think, so it was a really good deal. And then we're obviously gonna be putting a set of 3D plates. I'm doing the black editions ones for this car, so they're gonna look a hell of a lot better than the old ones. And um, they should look really good on the new grille. I like the black editions ones because it has no border, which I kind of find really ugly. Black EU logo, it's the IRL font with the county and dash. So first thing I'm gonna start with is putting the uh, diamond stitch leather mats in. I have the rear and front ones out. Give it a quick hoover. But uh, yeah, these should be really easy to fit in. They have clips. They have clips around the side. These little clips here, which slide in underneath all the plastic. So they are fitted and they'll go up the sides and underneath the pedals up to the left. But yeah, so I'll throw this one in and I'll show you what it looks like. Diamond stitch mats are in fully on the front and back. They look sweet. Um, front ones fit really well. As you can see there, they go up all the way up the sides. They fit really well, really nice. Rear ones really good too. This part here, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like clip it in or if I just kind of leave it the way it is. And um, I added these clips here just to hold the flap up there because it's no clicky thing. And then it goes over and then back down to your side. Same again inside. I don't know what to do about that kind of part that comes up. I'm not sure if it's supposed to click in. And then there's the front. Really happy with these. This is where the guy got them. Uh, Diamond Premium Car Mats. They had pretty good reviews online. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with them. I probably would have paid what he paid for them. The 100, I think they're 175 and like 20 something to get them delivered. Yeah, really nice. So I'm going to start taking off the front grille here. Um, I'd imagine I'm going to take this off. Take the top piece off and then take a look at See if I can get to... On this, it seems like there's like screws as you can see them there. So they are probably... In behind this so this might pop off once i take those off or it might pop off from here i'll just give it a pull see what happens so i quickly looked up some instructions online how to get this off i was taking off the top part anyway but it seems off the whole it seems as the whole bumper has to come off so i'm taking off the under tray at the moment which is basically held on with cable ties i've taken off like three now and then bolts wise there was one kind of like just screw head one and then one it was like a torque whatever you call it, one of these. And um, yeah, so it's held on with random screws and cable ties. And then about the other half of them are just like, there's nothing there. So I've only taken off like four altogether and it's coming off. So like one more, it's like a, as you can see there, it's like a bolt head. So yeah, it's, it's just held on with a random assortment of things. Front bumper is finally off. Just in case anyone follow, happens, has this issue as well as me, Basically took off all the screws. There was like two big bolts on either side to going through the fender into the front bumper. But these parts here just sit in there and you can see it seems like there was some sort of glue residue on the back of this one. This one came out fine and in tutorials online it just said pull off the bumper. This one here would not come off at all. I had to use a screwdriver and kind of pry it against this and after ruining, well, that doesn't really matter and this is going to be replaced because the new grill has one of them. But just in case anyone has that problem, it was pretty hard to get off. So I'm just going to clean out this crap and then we'll start taking off these uh, kind of torque bolts and put the new grill in. Perfect! So the bumper's back on now, uh, grill fitted as well. I don't know how the how the under tray was held on because when I put it back on and put the four or five bolts that I took off all on it, um, it was completely hanging off. So I just added some cable ties. Didn't have anything that would, would screw into the actual treads. So I'll show you it now. 
so there she is paint is even looking better i think it's because the gloss black just kind of contrasts against the red oh it looks so good i hope to keep this car for a very long time a lot longer than the other two cars so yeah gonna fit the black edition plates now just put double-sided tape on the back that we have on the website and this is gonna look so good black it's gonna be just all black and red so we'll fit these now peel off the tape i peeled off the these come with like a protective film on the characters of the 3d character the 3d characters and um, so they kind of peel you peel them off yourself basically when you get them and standout plate black edition are fitted looks so good on the car like i love the like no bluey logo all black and red and i'll show you the back here as well so the back I debadged in the last video when I was polishing it, just thought it was a good chance to kind of polish away the kind of difference in color because it, it, obviously the car is a little bit faded. Um, and then it, the, actually the previous one didn't have a surround or anything. But yeah, it looks so good. Paint is looking class as well. Just need to do the windows still. I'm not gonna do them today though, I don't have time. You can see they're filthy on the inside. They need to be washed. But yeah, it's looking really good. Really happy with the plates. Uh, yeah, so next we'll probably have the side skirts and splitter which should be coming If anyone's looking for 3d plates like this, this is the black edition plates and new ones They also come in uh, the metro font which is kind of smaller one and they come in the German font as well Personally, I like the IRL font and um, I had it with the normal EU logo ones before and um, but I just wanted to try the black edition They look sweet on the car and um, they're my probably my favorite uh, style plate we have on the website at the moment we linked down to that in the description below mcg as well that's where i picked up the grill if you're looking for anything like that i've just custom ordered some side skirts and a gloss front lip gloss lip and side skirts and um, they're maxim design pieces mcg are the best for it they stock kind of so s line they would stock the pieces for that but this is a sport so i think it's the same body kit style as the sc i can't tell the difference by looking at them but they said the fitment of the splitter and stuff is different so i had the special order for this but they would stock it for the s line and they stock most of their kind of popular rda4 pieces and stuff but yeah check them out if you're looking for any uh, body sound pieces or basically detail and stuff as well and check out my website down below for the standout plates uh, that's it for this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one